Hi everyone, it's Kathleen coming to you from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm here today to talk to you about a swap that I'm involved in over at Your Paper Pantry and it's a travelogue swap. For those of you that aren't familiar with the travelogue swap, one person, the originator, that would be me, picks a theme, creates the framework of a journal, and then sends it out into the world to hit about six different places or so to be finished up page by page, one page by each participant, before it's returned back to me to keep forever. So today I'm going to show you mine, and here it is. My theme for this swap was the rituals of our lives, and it's uh, inspired by a book written by Robert Fulgham called The Rituals of Our Lives from Beginning to End. And I highly recommend this book to anybody that's perhaps preparing to do a wedding or have a baby in the family or just really to read in general. You'll find it very, very inspiring. It's very well written and uh, I used it for my own wedding. So here's my front page. Um, I use, I, I, may, I do my own technique here with uh, lots of layering, decoupage of old timey papers and sometimes I use dish, um, dress patterns, then I stamp it, let it dry, age it a little bit, stamp it again, let it dry and I just add it until I'm satisfied with the look and I'll show you on the back page a little better. This one's kind of dressed up so it's hard to tell what the background really looks like. So it says rituals and I have a butterfly on it. I put lots of butterflies in my scrapbooks because I really love butterflies. I love how they represent transformation and I am someone who has been transformed in my life more than once and I'm, I'm very happy about that. So I love, I love a butterfly. Inside you can see I have a welcome page and it gives each participant the instructions on how I'd like the journal to be completed, the scrapbook to be completed. There's then a sign in page. Tag says sign in and I've signed in the first page and this is actually a tag also that comes out and you can see my technique for the, uh, the page again the way I've layered up many many things and used um, different types of paint and, and inks to complete the look. And here's my page. I started things off by talking about a ritual in my life that involves my husband and me on Sunday mornings and how we like to spend our Sunday mornings. And it's lots of fold out um, goodies here to read my little story. And it involves Sunday morning, going to church, having breakfast together, listening to music, and reading the paper. And here's a picture of my husband David and I. Uh, those of you who know me know that I like to refer to Dave as Santa. He is Santa in every way you can imagine and I love him with all my heart. We've been married 17 years this month and I was happy to include a picture of us on our wedding day in my journal, in my scrapbook. Here are the empty pages for the people that are going to receive my book to complete and then here is the last page. And on the last page, I've included some tags. I want everyone to take a tag and fill it out with their contact information and return it back into the book so that I'll know where it's been and who it's been with. And then on this last page, it says, take a charm, then leave a charm. And I don't know if you remember or not, but from my page, my journal page of my ritual, there was a coffee cup in the bottom. And what I did was I took that coffee cup stamp and I stamped it on shrink plastic. I cut it out, I punched a hole, and I shrunk it up. And then I stuck one on a Tim Holtz pin right across the top, one for each person person that's going to play in my, in my journal, in my scrapbook. And what I want them to do then is to leave a charm that uh, applies or matches the subject matter of their page. And I'm really looking forward to seeing all of those charms lined up here. So that's my book and again on the back you can see this technique that I've used 
to uh, do my background page. It's a lot of layering, a lot of painting. You can see I use sort of a coppery metallic paint here as well as stamps. And if you would like more details about how I achieve this look, I'd be happy to do a video on it. Just let me know. So there you have the rituals of our lives. And when it comes back to me, I will do another video probably in 2012. It's going to take one month per page times six people. So it's a six, six month project, probably seven by the time I get it back. All right, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day, everyone.